How did a young boy from Braunau am Inn, Austria, become one of the most infamous figures in human history? Born on a spring day, April 20th, in the year 1889, Adolf Hitler arrived into a tumultuous world. His family background, a complex tapestry of ambition and frustration, played a crucial role in molding his perspective. The early influences that shaped his worldview were deeply rooted in his upbringing, laying the groundwork for a dark path ahead. The seeds of Hitler's destructive path were sown in these early years. A failed art student turned soldier, how did Hitler ascend to the helm of the Nazi party? A valid question considering the trajectory of Hitler's early life. After a childhood punctuated by dreams of becoming an artist, young Adolf was thrust into the trenches of World War I. It was during this time that his political ideologies began to take shape. In the aftermath of the war, Germany was a nation in turmoil, struggling to recover from a crushing defeat and the harsh terms of the Treaty of Versailles. Hitler found his calling in this chaos, joining the German Workers' Party, which would later evolve into the National Socialist German Workers' Party, or the Nazi Party. Hitler's charismatic speeches stirred the emotions of the masses, his words echoing their frustrations and fears. He spoke of restoring Germany's honor and power, promising a future free from economic hardship and foreign oppression. It was a message that resonated with many, and the Nazi Party's popularity surged. But Hitler's rise was not just about charisma, it was also about manipulation and control. He mastered the art of propaganda, utilizing media and public gatherings to spread his ideology and consolidate his power. His speeches were punctuated by scapegoating, fear-mongering, and a promise of a better future, a potent mix that propelled him to the forefront of German politics. With Hitler at its helm, the Nazi party rose to power, setting the stage for a dark chapter in world history. How did Hitler's reign bring about the largest war in human history? Adolf Hitler, a name synonymous with tyranny, unleashed a reign of terror that embroiled the world in a cataclysmic war. His aggressive foreign policies played a pivotal role in sparking World War II. Hitler's ambition was to establish a new order of absolute Nazi German hegemony in continental Europe. To achieve this, he pursued a policy of aggressive expansionism, invading Poland, and subsequently leading to Britain and France declaring war on Germany. But Hitler's reign of terror was not only marked by aggressive expansionism, it was also characterized by some of the most horrific acts of genocide the world has ever seen. Hitler implemented what he called the Final Solution, a systematic plan to annihilate the Jewish population in Europe. This resulted in the Holocaust, a mass murder of six million Jews, forever leaving a dark stain on human history. His reign was one of fear and oppression, where dissent was met with brutal consequences. Hitler used propaganda to manipulate the masses, making them complicit in his horrific actions. His regime silenced opposition, controlled the media, and indoctrinated the youth, creating a society where questioning the Fuhrer was unthinkable. Under Hitler's rule, the world witnessed atrocities it had never seen before. His reign of terror left a lasting impact on the world, serving as a stark reminder of the profound consequences of unchecked power and the importance of standing against such tyranny. How did the reign of Hitler, a man who held the world in his grip, come to an end? As the final years of World War II unfolded, the once invincible Third Reich found itself cornered. The Allied forces, a coalition of nations united by their shared goal to end Hitler's reign of terror, were closing in. From the West, the forces of the United States, Great Britain and their allies advanced. From the East, the Soviet Union pressed relentlessly. While the world outside his bunker was crumbling, Hitler's own world was disintegrating, his mental health already precarious was in rapid decline. Paranoia, erratic behavior and extreme mood swings marked his final days. He was a man unmade, trapped in the labyrinth of his own making. But the bunker was more than just a physical fortress, it was the last refuge of a man who had gambled everything on a vision of world domination and had lost. Surrounded by a handful of loyal followers, Hitler chose to remain in his bunker in Berlin. In the face of imminent defeat, Hitler made his final decision. On April 30, 1945 he committed suicide, alongside his newly wed wife Eva Braun. A tyrant's reign had ended not with a roar but with a whisper. In the face of imminent defeat Hitler chose to end his life leaving behind a legacy of destruction and horror.